Ian Poulter just walked off the back of 18. Practice round, how's it playing? Uh, it's playing nice now. I mean, the forecast wasn't for it to, uh, you know, for us to have any sunshine or blue sky, but um, I, I don't think they've got it right yet this week. So uh, it's been nice to play, you know, a few holes in practice. Didn't get on the course yesterday and, um, you know, the course is tough. It is tough. And as you say, it's a lot nicer if the sun shines. Now, I'm going to bore us with uh, with course talk. We always talk to the guys about players. We always talk to the players about the course, should I say. But Ian Poulter stood here with his golf bag. Poults, show us what's in the bag, please. Where do I start? I mean, clubs is easy. Um, I'll run you through the clubs. Cobra ZL driver. I've used that for a while now. Um, 50 gram shaft. Right. Three quarters of an inch longer than standard. How many, how much adjustments have you made to your clubs for this week? Uh, two and three iron have gone in the bag. Uh, they don't normally go in the bag. Um, the 99% of the year uh, this week. I mean, you can see they're pretty much brand new, to be honest. So, yeah. Really um, good point there, Ian, because you, you guys don't normally take these irons in the bag, but why is it this week you do? Well, it's, it's Lynx Golf. It's windy. It can blow 20, 30 mile an hour. Um, emphasis on putting it in play. If you can hit it 10 feet off the ground and hit it 240 off the tee, then you're going to have a, you know, a lot of chances from there to, you know, to hit decent shots in. So it's going to be a lot more irons off the tees this week, guys. Keep an eye on that. So pretty much brand new two and three irons yeah, we've got here in Pulse's bag. That's actually, I mean, that's actually at the same set as this. So they're actually made at the same time. You can see one's completely worn, the nine iron, but yet the two irons hardly been used. So that's how much that, that ever gets. Fantastic. OK. Um, three wood, Cobra amp. Uh, it's 14 and a half degree. It's put in the open position, so it's actually probably 13 and a half degree. OK. Talk me through the three wood. What did you take off the 18th tee here? I hit, I hit driver today. It was into the wind off the left hand side. Um, a nice tee shot, you know, in a perfect position. Hit a low seven iron in from 150. Stayed in play, good, because that's the thing about this course, isn't it? It's a thinking man's golf course. There's a par three off the first hole. You've got to stay in play. It's all about staying on the fairways, isn't it? You've you got to keep it out of that rough stuff. <laughs> I mean, you've only got to have a look over there and think, yeah, I really don't need to be hitting it in that. It's, it, is, um, it is going to be a tough week. You are going to hit it in the rough occasionally. And, um, you know, the guy who putts best and keeps it out of that stuff is going to win probably by Sunday. Well, we'll be keeping an eye on you, but I'm not letting you go just yet. Hang on, we've had a look at some clubs. What okay. is this? That is my IJP Design Open Putter Cover. Uh, I do a limited amount every year uh, for four majors. I drew these pictures. Did you? Uh, yes, I did, yeah. By my look at that, it's fantastic. Cover, Big Ben. Um, are these on sale in the IJP collection? Yes, they are. They, they, are, on for, they are on sale. Limited Fantastic. Edition. Okay, that is seriously cool. We like different things in a golf oh, bag. IJPdesign.com. Go on, have a look. <laughs> Everything this man is wearing is also IJP. Okay, let's have a little look through the bag because this is where we often find interesting things. Little Arsenal tee pegs. You know, everyone knows I'm an Arsenal fan. Um, That's amazing. There's a lot of D's in there and they're all Arsenal tee pegs. Waterproofs? Set of waterproofs, which actually never got used today, which was a right result, to be honest. Um, and then I have a pocket up, up front. Always got to have a telephone in the bag. Crucial tweets. How much do you use your phone on the course? Two. Uh, I don't use them at all. And that's Terry. Terry moans at me quite a lot because two phones obviously get really, really heavy during a round of golf. <laughs> uh, one umbrella, which is essential this week. Around the back now. What's in here? Um, gloves. Stash of gloves. Uh, you have to have gloves around this place. I mean, if, it, if it's going to rain, um, then obviously, you know, you need a you need a huge stash of gloves. That's amazing. You've got a good few there, and you take them all with you. Because how many times during a round, if it's really lashing with the rain, might you change your glove? Well, years ago, I got through 12 in a round, but that was that was uh, at Muirfield when it was horrific. I mean, you just can't you just can't. You just keep don't know. Dry. Okay, what about ball markers and superstitions and what uh, all the sort of bits and bobs might you have in here? Terry's <laughs> laser. Yeah, glasses, an inhaler to keep me uh, breathing properly, some suntan cream. <laughs> Some zero tablets to keep me hydrated. <laughs> Another inhaler. Uh, some lipstick. Some bubblegum lip lip <laughs> lipstick. Um, All sorts of things. Pen knife. pen knife. Always need a pen knife. You, you never know uh, when that comes out. How much would you say is the buggy? Uh, the ball marker. Very important ball to do marker. that. I have a little line on my golf balls uh, just over the. What about sunglasses, Ian? You must carry sunglasses. Yeah, they are. It's just the one pair. Just the one pair. Well, I've got stashes of them, so I only bring out the right colour coordinating <laughs> pair to go with each outfit, right? Quite right. He is a man of fashion, as we know. Ian, thank you very much you. for letting us have a look inside your golf bag. Another English golfer here that lots of us will be rooting for this week. Good luck. Thank you much.